The build that we have for you today is about the capacitor and regen. The build has enough survivability and damage to help you fight a lot of different situations. We're going to be running it with a booster hive and a defender drone. Both which used at the right time can help you clutch a lot of situations. Our armor is at 2 million and our region is 70k. With expertise added to our gear pieces, both of those numbers will increase. We're at 53.5 crit chance, 171 crit damage, and 17% armor damage. When you're running the capacitor, you get 7.5% weapon damage for each skill tier. So in this particular build, we'll have three skill tiers. So that's an extra 22.5% weapon damage from just the skill tiers. We're running the Gilligar mask and chest piece. That's going to give us 2% regen because we're running the ninja bike. We're running obliterate on the chest piece. Critical hits increase total weapon damage by 1% for 10 seconds. Stacks up to 25 times. So we can get up to 25% weapon damage just from critical hits that we get. And because we have 70k regen and insta kits, the fights will be a little bit prolonged so you'll have the ability to get to and use the 25% in a longer fight. We're running the Pakara holster with the ninja bike. That's going to give us the 15% weapon damage and a skill tier. So that's going to be another 7.5% weapon damage as well. Walker Harris with the ninja bike to get the 5% weapon damage and the 5% damage to armor. With the ninja bike, we have two piece golden to get the 1.5% regen. And we have the ninja bike. With the capacitor, we'll get the 15% weapon damage and that skill tier will be 7.5% weapon damage as well. As well as the ninja bike giving us an extra brand set or gear set depending on what we're wearing. Thank you.